In my teaching, I've always tried to bring across the point that hot metal works like clay does. And so I like showing pieces of my work that give the impression that it was clay. So one of the things that I did is I forged out a hand. So this is a piece of steel plate that I carved out for some of my artwork. Then what I did is I took a round plate and heated it up. Kept this cold and using the press push the hand into it. So it's kind of like what the kindergartners do, except this is a plate of steel that I'm working with. And I also had a, another piece I added to the, the press that's like a thumb that I had used to push down into this to give the thumb prints as it goes around the whole plate. So it's just another idea of what you can do by use, you know, with the use of a press. The first piece that I made in the press I use this tool which has it's rounded on one end and flat on the other but mainly using the the rounded part of it I took a piece of inch and a quarter square just put it in the dies and flattened it and then using the rounded tool pushed it into here in order to give the effect that someone had just taken it and squished it just like a piece of clay so here, this is a real good example of how steel, or any hot metal, works like clay. Now I want to show you some other tooling that you can use for the press. Besides just having the flat plates like this, I've also made up a set of tooling that slides over the plates, locks in place with thumb screws from both sides. And now you can put fixed tooling into this. As an example, a flatter and a fuller. So by turning this, it just slides in. And the reason I don't make it the full size, in case things don't line up, I can always take them and move them back and forth by just putting shims in. Now this is perfectly on center with the top plate. The other thing I've made up is a plate like this that goes onto the top. Now you can use this both ways. I can either put a piece of metal in here and just draw it out from one side or I can put my other plate on and do it the other way. I'll show you doing it like that.
So now just by taking the, these two dies out, I'm going to put a flat plate in the top one and a cutoff tool in the bottom and I can heat this bar up and just cut it right off. This is the cutoff tool. It's got a slightly rounded top to it, but it's important that the blade of it is lower than your two stops here. That way you don't cut the bar totally off and that will allow um, the piece to stay on the bar instead of going back and landing on your, hot, on your hoses and uh, starting a severe fire. Now we're ready to cut off. So you can see how in one heat that totally went through. Now you could do a multiple of those two for some design if you wanted to. So now this can just be broken off now. So this is how this particular bar turned out. And I hope you can see from what I've shown you today there's a lot of different possibilities by using the forging press. As an example, here's a bar that I worked on yesterday and you can see the different design that this has compared to the one that I did for you today. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and have learned something about the hydraulic forging press.